Mid-graders, mid-grade studies, how the United States originated, how it was born, where it came from. Because it started off as 13 separate little colonies, each doing their own thing, ruled by a king named George. And George lived thousands of miles away in England. England. And you already know, the colonists were not too keen on some of George's policies and ideas and taxes. The colonies had been there doing happily enough for hundreds of years. But here we are, 1776, and the colonists are in an uproar. They are not happy campers. A tax on my sugar? I don't think so. A tax on my paper products. What are you doing, George? A tax on a cup of tea? Come on, George. And they started to say, hey, the colonist leaders started getting together saying, what if we were united? What if we all got together and united and stopped having a king and became independent states? Okay, I'm going to hold you back for just a second. I'm doing it we will get united and be independent states. Huh. United States. So our fifth grade students spent the year learning all the same stuff you did. They are in there right now reenacting a colonial period town. They are actors. They take them on the roles of people who lived then, doing the trades of people who worked then, and learned all about what to do, why people made the decisions they made then, and they said, oh, maybe we should get rid of the king, maybe we shouldn't, and they were having those arguments. When you go in, we have some safety rules, we want you to have fun, but the rules are, one, be respectful, they're acting, they're dressed appropriately for the period, doing jobs that were appropriate for the period, two, Hey, that's really important. Please repeat that one. Yes. Do not run in Williams, Bub. I do not want you to trip over and get your eye put out. I do not want you to trip over and put your face into a bowl of hot wax. I do not want you to trip over and get stampeded over by a bunch of dancers. That would be bad. So, I do want you to have fun. To that end, each of you, as you go in, you're going to get a passport. You can go to each of the trades if you help them out or ask intelligent questions, which are on the back of the passport. Um, they will stamp your passport. It's kind of like Pokemon cards. Collect them all. Also, you can go shopping. We will give each of you four shillings. The money of the period. Sorry, your American dollars are worthless. Four shillings, and you can use your four shillings to buy things. So, welcome to Williamsburg, and have a good time. Teachers!